it's finally time. After countless Minecraft updates and years of procrastination, it's finally happening. We we are making another Minecraft server tutorial. Hey and welcome to the channel. My name is Ibrahim or Ibi for short, but let's not bore you any longer and hop straight into the video because you're, you're probably not here to look at my wonder, wonderful face. No, you're here to find out how to host a server on Bicep Hosting. Hosting. Wait, was, what was that? What was that? Echo? Hello? You stink. Oh, lucky for you, they've made it super easy to set up. So let's get right into it. So once you've logged into your Bisect hosting server portal, since we're going to be setting up a Minecraft Forge server for Minecraft 1.20.1, we're going to need to do a bit of configuration on the Bisect hosting side of things. So to change our server into a Forge server, we will need to go to the open jar menu button. We then click on that. We will then look for the custom selection. And then once you're in the custom selection, you'll need to toggle the custom forge 1.17 plus. This is a very important step. So we need to enable this and then we can just delete current files. Okay. Once that's done, you would see that the text here changed to custom forge 1.17 jar. This shows you that We've done those steps correctly and we can move on to the next steps, which is downloading Forge and getting the files onto the server. So let's get on to that. Once you've searched for Forge 1.20.1, you would need to go to the first link on the page. It's usually the first link. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to download the installer. So as you can see, it already put me onto the latest version of Minecraft 1.20.1. And you get a lot of a lot of options here. Um, we just we just focused on the latest version of of Minecraft Forge. So what we're going to need to do is click on the installer. Uh, it's going to go to this weird ad page. Don't worry, we'll just we're just concerned about this wait timer right on the top. So we'll just wait for that to finish. After the countdown is finished, we can just click the skip button, and the file should be ready to download. Once the file is downloaded, we need to open up this file. It will then open up this little forge window asking us uh, what to install. So what we focused on is install server. It will give you this little red message, but um, all we need to do is change where we want the server to be installed or the server files to be installed. So what we want to do is click on this little three dots. Um, we would then need to go to desktop um what we can do we can create a new folder called uh, minecraft 1.20.1 forge we can double click on that and then we can click on open and then that will take the little red warning away and then we can go on ahead and install the forge version so, so this will just download all the files. Um, I'm just going to skip ahead of this so that you don't have to wait through the boring green bar. So as you can see, it successfully downloaded the Minecraft server files for 1.20.1 Forge. And what we need to do is just go to desktop and then navigate to our Minecraft 1.20.1 Forge server. And then as you can see, we have all the files we need for our Minecraft server. So what we're going to do next is actually bundling this up and then uploading it onto our Bisect hosting server. So what you're going to need to do with this is we're going to need to zip all these into one file so that we can easily upload it to Bisect hosting. So what you're going to have to do is select all of these files, right click and with any compression software, you can actually just go to send to and compress zipped folder. This thing, this creates a zipped file so that we can upload it to our Bisect hosting server. As you can see, it created a libraries.zip file, which we will now upload to our Bisect hosting server. So going back to the Bisect hosting server portal, we will need to go to the file manage option. So on this page, what we're going to need to do is upload the libraries.zip file onto the server. So you can easily do that by clicking upload. 
clicking on the drop files and folders here box and from our minecraft 1.20.1 forge folder where we've downloaded the files we want to select the libraries.zip file and click open and then it will start uploading so once the upload is completed we can close this window and then we would see the libraries.zip file has been successfully uploaded so now what we want to do is click on the little checkbox over here click on more and then click on an archive so once we have this done we are officially done with creating a forge minecraft server so what we can do now just to test things out we can go to home and then we can click on start once the server has started you can copy your ip go to your minecraft client paste in your ip address and join the server And there you go, your 1.20.1 Minecraft Forge server. But you're probably thinking to yourself, what's the point of a Minecraft Forge server without any mods? We're getting to that. So adding mods to your new Minecraft server is quite simple. So search up the mod that you want to install. In my case, it's create 1.20. Um, make sure that you include the version so that you actually get the, the mod that works for your Minecraft server version. Click on the first link, usually usually it takes you to Curse Forge, which is quite a good site to go for mods. Um, yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Uh, once there, you can go to download. Once on this page, you just have to wait for the timer. It will start downloading automatically for you. Boop, goes up there. So once you have your mod downloaded, in my case, it was the Create 1.20.1 mod. Uh, we would need to go back to our Bisect Hosting server portal. Go back to file manager and then now we have to look for the mods folder which is right here once in here we do the same thing as how we did with the library so it's a file we click on upload click on the drop zone and then we double click on our downloaded mod this will then upload the mod to the server just more waiting time i guess once that's done close the window go back to your home page and then click restart server and once you've added your mod to your minecraft client everything should be good to go as you can see if i go to the inventory i can search and find the create mod blocks you know let's glory I, I guess boom boom yeah lots of lots of what the okay oh uh, yeah, yeah blocks oh blocks oh, oh my goodness oh, um spinny things yeah so there you have it, your very own Minecraft server hosted on Bisect Hosting. Bisect Hosting makes it super simple to set up a Minecraft server for you or a couple of friends. So yeah, go try it if you haven't done it already. If you have any other ideas for future content, please let me know in the comments below or, or not. You don't have to, but it's a choice, I guess. Um, but yes, that's all from me today. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, uh, check out my previous video uh, if you're busy with an older version. And yeah. Help me. Uh...